Hi, I'm Julie of Wine and Whiskey Travelers, and welcome to our mobile condo, as we like to call it. I'll give you a tour after to show you some of the things that we've done to set it up for us while we're on the road, because we're both self-employed, so we need to have a mobile office and have everything convenient and not cluttered, some flexibility. So we've done some things I think that might interest you or work for you if you also work while you're on the road. We are going to be leaving this mud pit very soon, heading to Florida and warmer weather. But just wanted to show you what we're, what it looks like here before we leave. As I said, it's a mud pit. We're looking forward to warmer weather and no mud. Showing what we have going on inside as we get ready to make our final upgrades to plan for our travels. The new table will be going in, the Wii Boost is going in, we've already updated the batteries, added a second battery. This is just showing you the over cab area right now, which is kind of a dump zone. We used these insulating pillows all winter and they were great. And they've got the insulating on the back. So once we take those out, it'll be a little bit brighter in here, which is great. So this is the chaos before the trip, getting the RV or condo as we call it ready for a longer trip, a longer duration, and make it feel more like home. So stay tuned. Okay, we have made some progress here. We have the table, new tabletop on. Still working to secure it. Working on the overhead storage. Still a little bit chaotic in here with stuff kind of all around. The old tabletop is off. So, waiting for the tabletop to go in, and then we can start cleaning and putting everything back together. Okay, so we made a lot of progress. We have the new tabletop is in. We're getting organized. Still working on those bins up there. But the floor is clear. We got some clearing on the counter, so that's good. And I made some progress on that storage area above the cab. So we're getting there. I wanted to show you we added the Wii Boost. We did that, added that to the top of the ladder. The cable runs down, goes underneath, and comes up near the dinette. So that was pretty simple. Wanted to show you the Moto Tote which is now on the back. The motorcycle is going to go on that. And we'll definitely show how that works. Pretty psyched about that. And so far it's looking good. We're happy that the, the mud has subsided a little bit because it was getting a little crazy walking back and forth to pack this thing for our trip. And there's the moto tote. So stay tuned for more. Today is cleaning day here in the condo. Got the heat on, warming it up. And we are going to do the final clean so we can start packing for the trip. Nice and sunny in here. That's what we love about it. A lot of windows. And the doggies. Hanging up the towel bars. Always have to have precision, so we've got the tape measure out, and the suction cup thing will not stick to the wall, so we are going to use the 3M sticky t um, discs that they send with these, so hopefully that'll keep everything in place. We got the towel bars on, and we use the round discs that stick to the wall, and then the suction cup adheres to the plastic disc, so that worked out great. And we'll see. I hung towels on to see if they stay on there all day. I'm making up the bed before our trip, before we depart. And I like to do that so that it's done and ready to go. So when we get to camp, 
one last thing we need to do is make up the bed. And what I have, like to show you here is I use a twin size down comforter on top because it has less bulk, doesn't hang over the sides much, so that you still get the coverage on the queen mattress, but you don't have the bulk on the sides. We are not full-time RVers. We still have a sticks and bricks home, and we intend to keep that. We just want to be able to explore and travel a little bit more while we have um, availability in our work schedules. So this, we bought a Thor Freedom Elite 24 foot with a full wall slide, has a real queen bed in the back. And that was so important because the corner bed we've tried before and that just hasn't worked. So this folds and then the whole slide comes in and it's ready to go. So we, the queen bed was a must. We have a, a bathroom, all the RV bathrooms are small. This one is perfectly workable. So I've got some hacks to show you in there. Um, we have a nice size sink in the kitchen, three burner stove, obviously the refrigerator, good storage over the dinette and over the sink area. And the over the cab we use for storage, I'm gonna show you that after. One of the things that we changed in the coach is we took out the plastic laminate table that matched the kitchen counter. It was a little bit busy so I bought a table on Craigslist, painted it a, um, an off-white color so that it's a little more visually simple over there because I've got some pillows and things that would have been too much pattern. So that's just an overview of the space here and I'll do a walk around and explain some other things that we've changed. We're here. This is the dinette for when you're first walking into the coach. This is what you see. Now I took out the back cushions that were rigid foam and replaced them with several soft pillows, feather pillows so that they're movable and soft so that when you're sitting with your back to the wall looking at the TV, they're soft and squishy. Under the table, we use that as a dog area. Right now I have two beds stacked, but Usually there's one bed, one dog under there, and then on travel days I put a gate up between the table and the floor to keep the one little crazy dog confined, and then the other dog sits up on the bench. So that's the dining area. Changed out the table from the plastic laminate that came with it to a table I got on Craigslist, painted it, gave it a distressed finish so that it was a little bit more relaxed feeling. We love this coach because of all the windows it's very bright. You can see it's still snow outside, still winter. We're officially in mud season. Now here's the over cab area. I mentioned that we we work while we're on the road. So we took the cushion out and we did two plywood platforms and I got this drawer tray thing and it pulls out. Got the gripper stuff in there. So our laptops will fit in there in addition to our small printer. So all that can be tucked away when we're not working. And all I did was put bumpers on the bottom and it holds them in place. Really doesn't move at all. And then we can store th things on the side and the top. We have our privacy shades we store up there. The skylight insulation extra chair so we use that as our storage area I don't see how it would work otherwise there's just so much stuff that you need so we have a TV here and there's a TV in the back nice big sink which I like instead of the double sink and I just put a bin inside so that you can fill it up with water still have water running three burner stove we put on that peel and stick stuff on the side because the other stuff was so ugly. I took a door handle, put it on the side here to hang the fruit basket, the fruit sack, whatever you call it. We put the racks on the door to store some towels, some spices. So I think that's a really good hack. I really like the queen bed as I mentioned earlier because it's a full true size queen 
We put the three inch memory foam topper on it so that it's really comfortable. We love all the windows. The storage above, I have extra bedding, blankets and things because we're going to be starting off in the winter. And so we'll, right now I have a down blanket on there and then we'll, we can take those things off as it gets warmer, hopefully. We do have a full size closet too, which is nice. I like those uh, suction cup uh, mirror hooks. Those have been on since day one and they have not come off at all, which is great. The closet is nice with the hanging space and space in the back for shoes, I'm hoping, will fit there comfortably. Another TV there. The bathroom, as I mentioned, we put the, the suction cup towel bars, which I think is pretty cool, and the shower hack, which I have shown with the two shower spring shower curtain rods that go across and then hanging the mesh the mesh pocket hanger to keep all the bathroom products up off of the floor and secure so the bathroom works pretty well i like the gray towels just for ease of not seeing every speck of dirt and that's the tour of the mobile condo which we will be in for a few weeks. And we'll talk about the cab more. We did some things with the cab to update that as well.